I'm Atima Patnaga, also known as Nails by Nemo, and um, I'm actually a full-time IT service manager with um, Nail Art as a side line. Um, I got into nail art by um, coincidence really. I was on Instagram, um, it was something that I joined maybe about two years ago um, and I started seeing all these beautiful nails and because I'd always been a fine artist and I just had my daughters I didn't have the time to sit there with an easel and paints and start to paint fine art so I thought I'd do it on a smaller canvas and started doing nail art that way. The first, the first thing I designed when I, th I started doing nail art was, I think, a really easy studded mani. Um, I saw all of these amazing creations and I thought, well, that's quite easy, right? Just paint two different colours and stick some studs on top. And um, I think that just unleashed a love for nail art. Um, I design and paint my nails probably far more often than I should do. <laughs> um, I should probably be doing other things. Um, I'd say probably on average um, three to four times a week. My favourite colours, well I have one favourite colour and anything sort of in that range and that's blue. So aquamarines, greens, blues, anything in that range is probably my favourite to wear. Well the great thing um, about OFAT is firstly the packaging. It is amazing. For me, packaging and how something is displayed and arrives to you is so important, especially in a luxury brand polish. It goes on like a dream, it's like butter, literally, when I'm applying it and um, I cannot fault it. It's perfect in two coats and that takes quite some doing. My favourite of colour is Rhythm um, and I think it's just perfect. You can see I'm probably wearing a similar colour at the moment, so um, I'm a stickler for blues, and this is just perfect and gorgeous um, for this summer weather that we're having. Well, colour can actually convey so many different moods. Um, for me, this blue and blue colour really portrays a calming, it's like the sea. Um, I know that it can also be quite treacherous at times, but for me, blue comes as a nice calming water, and I'm a water sign as a scorpion, so maybe that's why I love blue so much. Today I'm going to be doing some autumn roses for you all um, with Offat polishes, I'm using a number of different polishes and I'll go through each one of them as I'm using them. So the base for these autumn roses will be Luxe Noir. We start painting that onto the base. This is a great black, so it's pretty perfect in one coat, but I'll probably do two just to make sure we get some full coverage. People always ask how to make sure you keep a clean line around the cuticles. It comes from mainly practicing painting correctly, but if you do make any mistakes, clean up brush is always good. Small slanted edge brush dipped in some nail polish remover and just round the corners to give you a nice clean line. Once you finish the black base, let it dry for a few minutes, I'd say about five to 10 minutes, just so that the colors don't smudge into each other. Okay, so starting with Glam Squad as the base for the roses, just dab a little bit into a dish. And I'm going to use a paintbrush, but you can also use a dotting tool for this part. And just randomly, in a number of different areas, paint sort of irregular circles. This colour is quite dark, but when we add the highlights, you'll be able to see the roses a lot better. You start with the darker base. And just randomly place them around the nail. you clean off your brush regularly between polishes. Polishes dry so quickly. Okay, I'm taking the next colour, Chow. I'm going to do the first highlights. So again, just dip a tiny bit into your dish. And I'm taking a slightly finer brush to do this with.
and place a dot and then just some semicircles around that dot. And just continue this for all of the roses. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just continue this on all of the flowers. Again, clean off brush before we take on the next colour. And the next colour I'm going to use for the roses is peony. A lighter pink. And again, just place a few highlights and you'll see this is slightly lighter so it will start looking a little bit more like a ro rose now. And choose a little brighter pink, which is called Spanky. They seem like a lot of colours to do the roses, but it's what adds the depth. Now on to the last colour for the flowers to highlight them and that's white, Blanco. Just a tiny bit into the container. And with the white be really careful, we can't overdo it. So you really need just a tiny amount just to give a few the gentle highlights. And once the roses are highlighted, you can move on to the leaves. And for the leaves, I'm going to use turbulence, which is a lovely green. Again, just a little bit into your dish or tray or whatever you're using. And then literally just take from either side and make some leaf type shapes. Again, they don't have to be perfect. You're gonna add some highlights to these afterwards to give them some depth. And you can add as many leaves or as few leaves as you like. Okay, once you're done with the base of the flowers, just use a white or a lighter colour to highlight those. So I'm using Blanco again here. And again, be really gentle with this, so you can highlight it too much. And just take that, put a line down the middle and on the side, however you would like to highlight your leaves. Okay, and once that's done, that's completed your flowers, all the highlights done, just add top coat. Sometimes you need to leave the flowers to dry for a little while because they may be a bit thick and the top coat can smudge them, so just be careful. Voila, perfect autumn ready flowers for you.